All right, Christ, how many times can we do this? All right, guys, you may have heard this in the past. I don't know if you have or haven't, but we're going to be talking about the LCAO approximation today. Linear combination of atomic orbitals. We want to get a good wave function. We've got to minimize our energy thanks to the variational principle. We need some mathematical functions to build our guess. To do that, we're going to use a basis set. Now the question is, is what basis set should we select? So we want to talk about molecules, right? You know anything really well. Yeah, well, what is a basis set? A basis set is a mathematical function to build our, our guess rate function. That's the way I'm going to put it. So it's like the mathematics, like the actual functions we select. It's like you kind of find it there. Yes, sort of. I don't really want you to get bogged down in that. What I want you to think about is, is do we have anything chemically meaningful that we can use to possibly describe molecules from something that make up molecules? Electron density? That's all related to electron density. What makes up molecules? Atoms. Right. Atoms make up molecules. So what do we know pretty well about atoms, explicitly the hydrogen atom? It has one proton and one electron. Yeah, it's got one proton, one electron. Do we know anything about the functions? Or they've been solved? <laughs> they've been, yes, the hydrogen atom has been completely solved, and we have good atomic orbitals that are really so if you wanted to construct uh, molecules, given the name of the approximation, what do you think we're going to use? Atomic orbitals. Yeah, we're going to use atomic orbitals. OK. We have exact solutions for the H atom. Great. How about we use those? So that includes like a 1s. What other orbitals do we got? 2s. 2s, next. 3s. 3p. 3p. And that will go on for a long period of time. These are atomic orbitals. Hey, O's. Hey, O. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hi, O. Oh, I say, O. All right, we've gone too far on this one. That's the one I'm using at first. Okay, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to assume our trial wave function is comprised of these atomic orbitals with some coefficient out front, a linear combination of these things. So our guess will be a linear combination. function, our summation, i is equal to 1 up to n, ci, ooh, how am I going to write this? Like that. This, let's talk about what each of these things are. Okay. This thing is technically our basis function. But what are we using as our basis function? The atomic orbitals. Yeah. The c sub i is a coefficient part of the linear um, combination approximation we're making. And what this tells you is the contribution of this basis function to the wave function. 
or it can be related to that. Okay. This is the number of basis functions we're including. Yes. 